Day marks a fresh start for some young African-American boys from some of Chicago's roughest neighborhoods. As our Jim Williams reports, it's a story we've been following of one man's push to create a safe environment in an affluent suburb for the boys to learn and grow. Hi, guys. It's move-in day for these 10 boys and their legal guardian, Terrence Wallace, founder of the nonprofit profit Zone Project. This kitchen is a pretty big kitchen. Their new home, this sprawling mansion in Barrington Hills. Wallace has a simple mission, to give these boys the same opportunities as others in a thriving school district. Obviously emotional day <laughs> to think that while we're finally actually moving in, it means a lot um, from for their life, ex, you know, the expectancy as well as their education. It's been a long fight to get here and hurdles remain. Wallace's attorney says the village of Barrington Hills is questioning whether the home complies with village code and could result in $750 a day in fines. At this town board meeting weeks ago, some residents were critical of Wallace. There will be no protection. Wallace says because he is the boy's legal guardian and, like a father, that ordinance should not apply. This is a family, he says. We reached out to the village today. They say they are requesting further information from Wallace and have no further comment. Wallace told us he has had enormous support in the community. I really believe in racial reconciliation and inclusion and diversity, and I believe that our family being here is going to provide for this community um, a way for us to show the rest of America what, it look, what does it look like when we come together. So for now, the boys are finally able to get settled and begin remote learning at Barrington High School. Most people don't get an opportunity like this. Ain't nobody just going to pick up a random kid and then bring it to a mansion out in the birds. That's, that's, that's not something that just happens every day. Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. The boys are finishing up their school registration tonight and hope to start tomorrow. For more information on the End Zone Project and how you can help, go to CBS Chicago, any of our platforms, and search End Zone Project.